Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you my second build for Vigne Week 2022. Uh, the theme of this build was to mix different LEGO teams and my choice went to Star Wars and Ninjago. So I had to find a way to put these two teams together. I will link the contest down below so you can check it out. On the first day I had a, a revamp of a classic set and you can already find it on my channel, which is the Robo Guardian from 1994. And also at the end of this video, I will give you a sneak peek on my third build for the contest. Uh, but now let's jump right into this build and let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, so as I say, this is a, a mashup between Star Wars and Ninjago. So first thing I decided to, I started with the characters. I started to build the characters that I want to use for this build. Of course, I kept the lightsabers uh, to stay in the team, uh, but then I remove all the blaster things and I use some samurai sword. So for the characters, uh, the, I think the, the, the most interesting one and the, the most simple, but the, the cuter one is this R2-D2 uh, with the head. I think it's pretty cool. And this uh, has been inspired by Star, War, Star Wars Visions, uh, episode one, the duel. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know I already built two mocks based on that episode. You can both see them both on screen now. Uh, I will link them down below if you want to check them out. Anyway, let's move on to the next characters. So here we have uh, the sort of uh, Sith Ninja. Uh, so here I have a Ninjago minifigure with a double-sided lightsaber with a cool sort of samurai uh, headpiece. Uh, using the minifigure stand, so we have a nice dynamic pose. And even more dynamic is this one. So this one I use a Ray minifigure uh, with the ninja uh, headgear and the lightsaber, of course. So we have one leg over there, while the other leg at the back is connected to the stand that is hidden under that green uh, slope over here. And this will give the idea of a very dynamic pose uh, kneeling down on one uh, on one leg. Now another dynamic pose here, this is very easy to achieve. I use one of these transparent antennas. It's just the character is holding it with one end and it looks like he's jumping and attacking the other bad guy over there. So here again, this is a minifigure I found from a, a build a minifigure in the store. Uh, I use a razor, I use a different head, head piece and a little bit of accessory as well as another sword at the back. So I think this fits very well uh, the team that I'm going for. So this is over here or over here, I guess. And then here we have this. Uh, this was actually, a, I think, a TIE fighter pilot. Uh, I change, of course, the, uh, the helmet with something more thematic to this one. And I give him a sword and I put him in a position as if he was chasing uh, R2-D2 that was, I think, over here. So let, since we're here, let's look, have a look about the, uh, this bridge. Uh, this is built sideways. These are some arch pieces and a couple of modified uh, bricks. Inside, I added uh, some plates, some brackets to create a sort of smooth uh, transition stairs kind of thing. And this is connected with one stud over here, so I can also give a different angle to the bridge and is kind of looking towards R2-D2 that is running away. Uh, the landscape is pretty straightforward, so here we have a lot of plates, uh, rounded corners, wedge plates uh, to give a little bit of height and a little bit of texture to this, as well as a little path that lead uh, to, those, uh, uh, to that bridge. Uh, I also added a little bit of water over here, uh, nothing very difficult, just lay, lay down some plates, a little bit of different colors and a little bit of smooth surface over there. Uh, it's not perfectly done, but as you know, for this contest, this build has to be made in one day. So each day of the week, we have a different vignette to build. So the time is really short and uh, we cannot refine so much the builds. Anyway, I think that this turned out pretty well. Uh, over here we have a tree with this long uh, uh, brown tail and for the, for the greenery on top, 
for the bush on top, I use the same technique uh, that I use for the gradient entry at the summer joust. Uh, so you can check out that one as well. Uh, by the way, here you can see the back, of course, uh, what will be voted in the context is only the picture from the front. So all of this background is not seen. Here I added some crates and uh, this is also from Star Wars. So I think it helps the build uh, to be a little bit more uh, thematic. Also here a nice part usage. I used two uh, air piece in gray as some sort of stones under that uh, tree. Uh, this is a common technique that many builders use. Uh, and I think these two works pretty well. They are from, I think from the story of Nian. Anyway, this is what is up front. At the back, we have this temple. Uh, the scale is really small. Uh, I'm not so happy about it, but I think it sort of works in a way as a force perspective kind of thing. Uh, so we have a little bit of rock work at the back and a little bit of stairs leading up towards the door. Uh, over there, I try to do a more modern looking door in the way of the one that opened on, in Star Wars on the, on the spaceships and stuff like that. I also added a little corner tile there that is from a, a Darth Vader bricket. And then I added a little bit of the classic details that you can find in these Asian style Ninjago monkey kid kind of things. A little bit of golden insert, a little bit of details over there. We have some snot technique over here for those uh, window kind of thing. Uh, you can have a little bit of int here on how it works. So basically we go uh, sideways from here. And also I went with a color scheme of red and dark uh, green. Uh, here I added two printed tiles from the story of Nian set. I think that worked pretty well. And I added a little bit of decoration with this turntable over here. On the top one, I insert one of these accessories with two swords that I think it works pretty well, maybe too big for the scale of the temple. And then a little bit of extra detail for the roof. Uh, the roofs are pretty simple. They just, they're just built on hinges, as you can see over here. So they're very simple. You just need to attach them, but there's no particular techniques over there. Uh, last little details. I wanted to add something else, more Star Wars in the background. So as you can see at the back there, we have two spaceship uh, and I think they also help to build this force perspective uh, image. So here we have the Millennium Falcon uh, chased by a TIE fighter. The proportions are not uh, that important, but I think it works well. And I don't know if you can see clearly from the video, but basically I have one of these transparent uh, rod, these transparent parts that goes out and both of the ships connect to the same part and then again with one of those transparent mini figure uh, stand I give a nice angle so when we look at this from the right perspective it looks like we have two spaceship flying in the background I think this a little bit diagonal uh, point of view is the best one but even from the front is not bad uh, even from this way you can see a different view on the battle still uh, see the spaceship Maybe I would have to hide a little bit that corner over there. Uh, let me know what you think about this build in the comment down below. I'm fairly happy with the result of this. And also I'm going to give you a little sneak peek on the micro scale build that was my third one. And I will show you on the channel on uh, Thursday. So stay tuned because we have a lot of uh, nice cool vignette coming in the next few weeks. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram to see the daily uploads for this contest, but uh, on the channel, I will keep my regular schedule. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.